Hello everyone. My name is Bruce Zhong, Director and City Advisory Leader of Arab Hong Kong. We are much honored to be awarded the Grand Award for Excellence for the project of built environment application platform under the Common Spatial Data Infrastructure, namely CSDI BAP for Hong Kong. I'm the study manager of this two years project. In the following presentation, I would like to introduce this project to you and highlight the key applications and features of BAP. This project is part of the larger CSDI strategy that aims to improve and facilitate the application of ICT in planning, infrastructure, engineering and environmental works. This assignment, the BAP, takes forward the CSDI development strategy by formulating an overall development framework covering different key aspects in the short, medium and long term, demonstrating the test cases through proof of concepts and prototypes on a number of applications. 30 user case applications were shortlisted into 10 demonstration prototypes through a series of stakeholder engagement activities including a number of meetings with key users and workshops with industry players. The BEAP presents a collection of applications and services that allows users to discover the relevant resources via a web portal. Through the demonstration prototypes, three applications were considered as quick win projects in the short term. Built environment application for analysis of government, institution and community facilities and open space allows users to generate a table of existing and planned facilities and open space, conduct analysis of spatial distribution and surface areas of facilities and open space. Site search application develops a collaborative platform for government bureaus and departments to submit site search requests to enhance efficiency in processing site search with the ability to perform site suitability analysis and the visualization and analysis of urban green infrastructure that enables the visualization of vegetation data to provide an overview of the city's greenery and make reference to green related index and indicators for facilitating environmental related analysis. Users can conduct analysis on green related index through interacting with the map by placing green elements and calculating the impact. Other prototype applications demonstrate as part of the prototype and anticipated to be gradually implemented in the medium and long term include land use monitoring and analytics provides a platform for storage and retrieval of multi-date, multi-level and multi-source imagery data from various data providers including government departments and external sources. It performs site photo image recognition using AI and machine learning for identifying types of land use, visualized changes to land cover and land surface height. Scenario generation for planning and development provides a tool for users to easily visualize the building massing in 3D environment per the user specification of development parameters such as plot ratio, maximum building height, and number of building blocks. Connectivity analysis. This prototype displays a comprehensive 3D pedestrian network model for conducting walkability analysis, providing a platform to share common practice and relevant academic research results to facilitate pedestrian planning and promote walkability. The visualization and analysis of underground space and utilities platform to assist underground space planning and checking, visualize existing underground developments, structures, and utility networks, and more importantly, to support the evaluation of underground density and conditions. Compliance checking of building plans application provides a platform to easily visualize BIM projects or proposed developments in a 3D environment for compliance checking against approved applications or prevailing regulations. Workflow management platform provides assets for multiple teams of the government to draft briefs and tender documents of various projects, 
automating the circulation of documents and enable instant responses to comments, and search to retrieve data and documents from previous or similar projects. The Built Environment Information Dashboard serves as a landing page for assessing all built environment applications with quick access to key information and data relating to the built environment and enable users to perform interactive analysis. To conclude, the development of the BDAP and its applications is a timely and strategically important initiative under CSDI initiative as Hong Kong embarks on its journey to become a livable, competitive, innovative, sustainable and smart city. The benefits captured and experiences learned from this development of spatial data and platform are not only limited to internal savings unknown. This platform has great potential to be further developed as a collaborative platform to further foster interdepartmental and multilateral cooperation, serving as a foundation of various types of spatially and digitally enabled built environment applications. Thank you very much.